Welcome to Val's Sweet Kitchen. This is my birthday cake for like the first 10 years of my life. And this is going to be a walk down memory lane. Three generations in my family baked this cake for all kinds of celebrations. It's the fluffiest, most moist cake, and I'm going to use the fluffiest frosting to go with it. You're going to be amazed at how this frosting's made too, so stick around. I put a modern twist on the recipe for the cake. It's more moist and even fluffier, if that was even possible. So preheat your oven to 350 degrees and let's go have some fun. First, prepare your pans. There are different ways to do this. You can do butter and flour or cake goop. I like spraying them with cooking spray and parchment paper because I've never had a cake stick and it's pretty foolproof. And a hundred of these cost $8. I left a link below in the description for you. And set this aside. Take all your dry ingredients and mix them together. Three cups of cake flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, a half a teaspoon of baking soda. Whisk that all together and set this aside. Then in a stand mixer, whisk together five egg whites to stiff peaks. And you want to go on medium to high speed, a number six. This is soft peaks. Whisk some more. You can tell this is stiff peaks because it makes little mountains in there and the mountains don't fall over. So take your egg whites and put them into another bowl and set this aside because we're going to use this bowl. Then take half a cup of butter, which is one stick, and one and a half cups of sugar and cream those together. My grandmom would have used shortening in this step instead of butter, but we like butter nowadays. And always scrape down the sides of your bowl because things like to hide. And you want to make sure you get it thoroughly mixed and creamed. And then add in your half a cup of yogurt. The yogurt is the activator for the baking soda that we added in earlier. And mix this just till it's blended. Now we're going to alternate between the dry and wet ingredients to get them all evenly incorporated. So take about a third of the dry. You're going to start with the dry and end with the dry. And to keep everything from all over the place, pulse it to start it out. And did I mention, this is my mom's KitchenAid. And here's my mom in college, Temple University, 1965, home economics. Wasn't she beautiful? So now fold in those egg whites that we beat to stiff peaks earlier. You wanna gently fold them in because you don't want to get, you don't want, don't want to deplete all that air that we put into them. And this is how I fold them in. Fold and cut. Cut in the middle, bring it around. The air that we beat into them is going to help in the baking process. Just very lightly and gently. Both my mom and my grandmom graduated from Temple University with a degree in home economics 
This is my grandmom's picture. That's her in the front row. So now we're going to divide it evenly between the three pans. I also use cake strips because they help each sponge bake more evenly and they always come out flat. Bake for 30 minutes or until a toothpick inserted in the center comes out clean. And you can see the edges have pulled away. Perfect. And here's my mom and her birthday in high school with the white fluffy cake. And while they're cooling, let's go make this incredible frosting. You won't believe what we start with. Look, here, I'll show you. In a saucepan, just take one and a half cups of sugar, a half a teaspoon of kosher salt, and seven tablespoons of flour. Whisk that all together and add in one and a half cups of milk. Medium high heat. Whisk continuously. You don't want it to scald in the corners of the pan. So you have to whisk continuously. And you're going to whisk this into a paste. And you can see it, it's starting to come together real quick. Matter of fact, I'm going to switch over to my spatula so I can stir it and make sure I get those corners. You want to stir it until it gets real thick. You don't get it thick here, it won't get thick enough for your frosting. You can turn down the heat some. If you scald the bottom, don't scrape it into your, your roux. Just leave it in the bottom of the pan. Oh yeah, here we go. Look, it happens real fast too. There, that's nice and thick. And then cover it with plastic wrap and make sure it touches so a skin doesn't form. Get all the air bubbles out. And I use meltless ice cubes. It's just water in plastic. And that helps speed things up. And then while your roux is chilling or coming to room temperature, make sure you don't leave it in there too long if you're taking a shortcut because you want it to be the same temperature as the butter. So you take three sticks of butter and we're gonna whisk them until they're lighter in color and fluffy. That'll take about five to seven minutes. For seven minutes, and you can see, this is fresh out of the refrigerator, the color difference. Just wanted to show that to you for comparison. You want to make sure your roux and your whipped butter are the same exact temperature. If it's not, your, your paste over here can melt your butter and you'll get runny frosting. We don't want that. So you just take it and put it in one tablespoon at a time and just whisk it in there and stick around because I'm going to show you a trick on how to get this this frosting and any frosting super white. The last step before the secret is to add a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And this is the secret and how to get it super white. You're going to take just a little bit of purple and just put it right on in there just a little bit. It'll help offset any yellow. All right, now the fun part begins. You know, I remember sitting at the kitchen table watching my mom decorate my birthday cake.
This is my grandmom and my grandpa. I think this is one of their anniversaries and I can pretty much guarantee that's the white fluffy cake. Wasn't she a dish? And I still have that cake slicer in her hand. You know, I like to think that my grandma and my mom are looking down and smiling right now. I hope you enjoyed this video and please be sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel. Leave your thoughts in the comments below.